Hi, welcome to a PC that's here totally for testing and it has the 1903 version on it and this is shortwave and uh, question on discord and that then me installing an application that I've never seen before it's something like G radio that we have and there is another application as well that we install which I don't recall now but it's about making well getting the radios in so shortwave is something new but it was a little bit complicated to install so um, it's um, an application that you should keep under advisement I mean it's probably new it still needs to be refined but it feels like a diamond but in the rough so for instance we have, when we have this plus here there was nothing available there is no um, choices here and in G radio and in the other application you can actually say give me all the radios from Belgium from Russia from uh, United States and so on and you get a list here you actually have to know the name and to to like for instance Q music is something from us here in Belgium Netherlands and you need to know the name in order to listen to the radio so it's um, okay it works and you have a library you can put it to the library but then the question is where is the library so it's all new for me as well but normally you would find something somewhere right and uh, but like I said keep it in your mind uh, shortwave seems interesting but how do we install it I had to do a lot of stuff um, let's let's start with Ctrl Alt T yay shortwave and then we had we have this installed short, shortwave git version and let's see what commands I have typed in our it takes a lot of, of compiling so be warned already I have installed cargo vendor because when we were building it it says uh, cargo vendor no in red so I said okay let's install cargo vendor which is also an application from AOR so I'll that out of the way I started rebuilding so first this one cargo vendor first and then lib handy was necessary as well the catch there is that when you start building um, shortwave it says oh no but uh, sorry but lib handy has to be above above version oh my above version uh, seven and it has six the community edition now what's funny and that's just the maintainer who should update it and this on the github it's called number six but in reality when you install it it's number nine get it so this git version we can have a look at it because it's interesting that you recognize the code immediately sorry cache yay so all of this is installed with yay yes I tried make package but I finally said just everything in yay so cargo vendor is installed we get an application this is the application the executable if you wish right double click it and it says install yes install right that's the application and then we had also yeah, I know get away um, we had also lib handy git so when we when you run it the package build says in the first instance not 09 okay let's prove that to you so when we ooh, let's first get rid of lib handy git otherwise yay will say I've got it all so first delete it from your cache then it gets lib handy git back and it says here 06 so whenever you're coming across an application that has not the correct version but has something like this inside package version CD go to lib handy git describe long tags and then something gibberish like is going to extract the real number and the real number that's gonna be found here is gonna be your package version and that's up here 
So when you run this uh, thing, let's maybe do this well on that there. By the way, where are you? Ah, yeah. <laughs> this is a dual screen. And I can't put it. Ah, finally, I can. Um, so, or I install it like this. And I probably you can see it probably as well. And at some point in time, yes, there we have it. It's already changed here. You see? Again, warning, that's a lot of compiling and a lot of uh, stuff. But if you like this kind of stuff, see all these nice, beautiful text running over your screen, then you just do that. So libhandy is installed again. And no, I'm not going to install your packages, your updates. So control T, I believe that is all the issues I had. Cargo vendor, lib handy, and then you can install shortwave. I see redshift in here. Just showing you guys that redshift is working. How do I know if you type in info, you see where I live. This is my location, more or less. And then he knows, okay, what time zone am I? And everything is a little bit, well, rather redshift, you know. So that's on the side. So this is how we install this application. It's uh, something to keep in mind. 1.49% plus three. We'll keep track of it and see how it evolves in the future. All right, cheers.